there has been the Urban Institute, nonpartisan, um, has said in the New York Times, and that's not a kind of study, also did uh, uh, a recent piece on it, is that it appears to be working. It has problems. Uh, there's not enough general practitioners because now everybody is gets preventive care and they can't get to a doctor because there's not enough general practitioners because quite frankly for a couple decades or two people haven't haven't been entitled to that. It's cost a bit more than they expected, but it's not exorbitant. But that's also because as some said the savings attendant to preventive care over the longer term haven't been and third is they're just about to go to what I was mentioning to the one doctor here, which is accountable care or ACO's organization, to where you start and if they're commissioned and they've just been on here for two years, the commission has now made a recommendation to go to stage two, where you incentivize doctors not on fee for service, but in quality of health care, they're going to go into stage two. So that is the model that this is based primarily upon. It has a mandate up there that everybody, and they cover 97%, it's the highest of any state in the nation, a mandate on businesses and on um, people, you must be in health care plan and you must provide it. It's a little different in aspects, but this is the one that it is based on. Yeah, I like it. 